talk to you. About? Her money. Oh, you mean the fake money that she wanted me to steal? Oh, you got it? Yeah, I got it. Oh, but I can't seem to find it anywhere. Maybe you can refresh my memory. I think you better come with me. Ah! Ah! Oh! Tell Mother Hyne that if she wants to come find me, to lay off the snacks. Alright. You win this one. Just know, Mother Hen knows all about you. You had your chance to make this go the easy way. Now we're gonna get our money without you. Last time! What are those bags? I... What? I don't know anything! Why are you helping out Kim? She doesn't care about you. When she gets the chance, she's gonna take the money and run. I'm giving you the chance to be the winner in this one-sided relationship. Ditch her before she breaks your heart. don't know what you're talking about. Too bad. Looking for this? So, you do care about him. About him? him? Well, he does buy me food and nice clothes every now and then. But I'm looking for that hundred grand. So he doesn't serve my purpose anymore. Great. So you're not going to care. You know, he does make a mean pancake, though. You're in way over your head. And you're still here. We're out. Hey, you made me look stupid. Not my fault you're dumb and stupid. desperate about getting the bills, and I would have never had you happen. It's all right. How about I bring the bag somewhere else to hide? You can leave it here. I think you did a pretty good job convincing that you have it. You sure? Yeah. Survived this much. Might as well see it to the end. Who? Mother Hen. Everyone else is here. The least she can do is show her face. Plus, I have what she wants. Come with me. Oh, what? No, please? You know, a cute chick like you should learn some manners. Shut up and walk. Oh, well, when you keep talking like that, I could break your nose for you. If you cherish your face, you want to hang around a little more, I think you should learn some manners. Fast. Please come with me. 
Please, for your sake, don't make a scene. See? All right, I'm here. Where is she? Looks like hen's gone chicken. Oh, sup? You ready for your third beating? Frisker. That won't be necessary. Ex-cons can't carry. Oh, Rex, you never told me what a cutie she is. No wonder why everyone calls you Mother Hen. You're no spring chicken. <laughs> you're not just cute, you're funny too. Mostly cute. I hope you're wise. Hope so. I'm trying to be alive when I get out of here. Don't worry, you will. This is a social call. <laughs> you can put that gun away. We're being friendly. My hands? Oh, how rude of me. You can leave us. Mommy has everything under control. Sit down. Please. Tea? Uh, thanks. Normally I'm not a tea drinker, but this is pretty good. I'm glad. It has a pinch of apple dust in it. I know how much you love apples. You know a lot about me. I do my homework for everyone I work with. That's why I hired you to begin with. So what does a stand-up older woman want with $100,000 worth of counterfeit bills? Right to the point. I like that. What do you think? I don't know. Maybe we can use some of that money to have a little better face to look at. Don't bite off more than you can chew. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm not worried about me. I'm worried about you. You're making such a big deal about $100,000. You know, that's a drop in the bucket for you. Unless this was all just a charade. And you're not as bad as you make yourself sound to be. Where is it? Oh, I thought this was a friendly conversation. <laughs> you know, if you really want those bills, you can always just print more. They're fake. Don't worry about it. Where is it? There's a great reward in it for you. You are not spending that money, are you? <gasps> there must be something inside those bills. Like a hidden code? With your small, impressive operation, it can't match to do anything like that, huh? You need someone bigger, bigger than what you guys can handle, huh? Oh, by the look of your face, it seems I'm right. It's getting a little hot in here. Where's the tea getting to you? How am I doing? You know the difference between us. Besides our looks? <laughs> no. It's that at the end of the day, you're nothing but a common street thug. You might pick some pockets, beat people up, out with the police, maybe even excite a boy or two. But at the end of the day, people like you are a dime a dozen. I may not be what I once was, but I do my homework and I know my limits. And I know yours. You've got looks and a tongue. But not enough here. <laughs> you couldn't even recognize a cheap parlor trick is right under your nose. 
your teeth is spiked. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> I uh, gave you that high five to distract you while I spiked your cup. Looks like it's starting to kick in. So I'm going to make this short and sweet. You have 24 hours to return the money. Or I'm going to beat it out of you. Understand? Good. Get her out of here. <laughs>